how to run Linux on Android devices. If you're reading this, you've probably used Linux before, and know that it works on almost any piece of hardware. Meanwhile, you've got a phone in your pocket, and you know it's versatile. So can your Android phone run Linux? Android is built upon the Linux kernel, a software stack that interfaces with the hardware of a device. It basically enables an operating system to communicate with the device, whether that's a PC, a smartphone, or other hardware. You're interested in Linux and have read a few blog posts. Along the way, you've come across a funny name, new, Linux. But what does this mean? But over time, the word, Linux, has come to interchangeably describe the kernel as well as the various operating systems. These include Arch Linux, Ubuntu, Gentoo, and many others. So while Android uses the Linux kernel, it doesn't offer a desktop environment. This is what most people are thinking about when considering ways to install Linux for Android. You may wish to run an app that isn't available on Android. But in most cases, you'll simply want to gain access to some sort of desktop environment. Maybe you have a spare Android tablet you want to revitalize, and installing Linux on it is a good way to do this. Current Android devices have ideal hardware for a PC-like experience, and installing Linux is a great way to enable this. Of course, you may find that the tasks you want to perform in Linux also work in Android. The only hurdle holding you back might be simultaneous Android app multitasking. These powerful multitasking apps for Android let you switch apps instantly, run two apps side by side, and much more. Running Linux running on an Android phone or tablet device isn't easy. If you're looking for improved multitasking, try upgrading to a recent version of Android instead. To run Linux on Android, you have several choices, which you should use is determined by whether your Android device is rooted or not. In almost all cases, your phone, tablet, or even Android TV box can run a Linux desktop environment. You can also install a Linux command line tool on Android. It doesn't matter if your phone is rooted, unlocked, the Android equivalent of jailbreaking, or not. Several other methods will give you a Linux or desktop-like experience on Android. We'll look at those. 2. First, we'll take a look at three ways to install Linux on your Android phone or tablet without rooting the device. The best way to get Linux running on your phone with minimum fuss is with Debian Narut. You need Android 4.1 or later to run this. The benefit of Debian Narut is that it will install Debian Buster on your phone with a compatibility layer. This allows you to run Debian apps without having to root Android. Given how difficult routing can be for some devices, this is useful. Performance with Debian Narut is not great, but it's usable. For the best results installing Linux for Android, consider routing your device first. An alternative to Debian Narut, Userland is an Android app from the Play Store that offers a choice of distro. In addition to Alpine, Arch, Debian, Kali, and Ubuntu, this tool lets you install apps. You can install tools like GIMP, Firefox, and LibreOffice before you install Linux on Android. Simply run the app, agree to the permissions, and select a distro to install. There's a choice of viewing the installed Linux version over SSH command line or using a VNC app for desktop. It's surprisingly simple to set up and use. Thus, if you're looking for a solution for running Linux on Android, try this. Shipping with a distro. This useful tool also offers modded versions of some Linux operating systems for improved performance. The standard eight distributions are of these, Ubuntu, Debian, Ubuntu, and Manjaro have modded versions available for Android devices with ARM V8 chipsets and later. To install a Linux operating system on Android with Andronix, simple tap the distro you want.
Then hit install. You'll need to follow the steps to copy a command into a Tamux terminal window. As well as choose a desktop environment. The video above outlines the process in more detail. Just be sure to have Tamux and a VNC viewing app like VNC Viewer installed. You'll need VNC to use your chosen Linux desktop. Andronix is free, but features a premium upgrade which removes ads and introduces additional, non-vital, features. This includes support for offline downloading of operating systems. While we've covered a few good options to run Linux on your Android device, other methods are available. DeX, if you own a modern Samsung device, you have the option of switching your hardware to desktop mode with DeX. Did you know that modern Samsung phones have a desktop mode feature called DeX? Here's what it is and how to give it a try. Tamux lets you access a Linux command line on Android. Here's how to use Tamux and some of its best offerings. If you have a rooted device, you can install various versions of Linux on Android using the Linux Deploy tool. This is best done by first connecting your phone to a Wi-Fi network. Start off by installing BusyBox, which provides some enhanced root capabilities. Next, install Linux Deploy. On first run, tap Start to ensure the root permissions are enabled. Then tap Settings in the bottom right corner. Use the displayed options menu to select your preferred distribution. Debian, Ubuntu, Gentoo, Fedora, and many more are available to install. We used Arch Linux. You'll need to check the enable box under GUI to view a Linux desktop on your phone. Also ensure that VNC is selected for the graphics subsystem. Next, check the screen resolution under GUI settings and make sure you're happy with the desktop environment. Finally, find the username and user password entries. Either make a note of them or change them to something more memorable for you. Back out of this menu. Then tap the three dots in the upper right corner and select install. Then OK. When this is done, install VNC Viewer from the Play Store. In Linux Deploy, tap Start to run Linux. Then open VNC Viewer and connect to localhost 5900 to view your Linux desktop with the credentials you entered earlier. The Linux deploy method above for running Linux distro on Android is probably the best one you'll find. It provides a good choice of Linux versions, including Kali Linux. Want to use your Android phone or tablet as a penetration testing device? While you'll find various useful Android networking tools, the best option is a portable version of Kali Linux. Simply follow the instructions above using Linux Deploy, and select Kali Linux to install on Android. Once installed, you'll have a portable pen testing solution in your pocket. This will check the safety of any network your phone connects to. Not sure installing Linux on Android is such a good idea, but want more functionality from your phone. You could simply try a different version of Android ready to revitalize your Android phone or tablet. Installing a custom ROM is the best way to do that, powering it up with even better performance and features. Text source, makeuseof.com.